Today, what I wanted to do was just kind of share with you guys some of my favorite indie brand palettes. Now, you guys know I love indie brands, so I have a lot of indie brand palettes. Of course, I can't show them all. That would just be crazy. But there are a few, and I do have quite a few here still, but there are a few that are just really amazing to me i love the formula i created some of my best eye looks with them and i wouldn't think twice about grabbing them to use them and so i just wanted to share some of the palettes that i have in my collection with you guys maybe you guys have some of the same favorites maybe you guys have some in here that you're like eh, i don't like that one kk but i just thought it would be fun to just kind of take a little walk down memory lane or should I say indie palette memory lane and just look at some really nice colorful beautiful palettes so I think what I'm going to do is just to give even a closer better view of the palette I'm going to insert you know some shots of the palette while I'm discussing them or sharing them with you so you can see them a little bit closer okay because your girl is chilling today I am all the way in chill mode honey <laughs> so <laughs> just get you something to eat something to drink and kick back and relax okay while we look at some beautiful palettes now I wanted to start with this first palette it's funny because this palette really was not in my stack of uh, any brand favorite palettes but honey after I used it today I was like you know what that really does need to be in your stack because I do love this palette and the palette I'm talking about is the melt muerte okay this palette here this I do have on my eyes today. You might have already seen this look on Instagram. I don't know which is going up first, but <sighs> this palette is so nice. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. The colors in here, just everything is beautiful. You guys know I love blues. I love turquoise. I don't really tend to gear towards reds, but the deep, rich, burgundy reds in this palette it's just gorgeous when they launched this palette i flipped my wig okay i i really did i'm not going it's not a cussing channel but i really flipped when they announced these palettes and launched them because yo the packaging just everything about it beautiful and i love using it i am one of the people that actually really really like melt formula and I do have another one of their palettes in my little favorite indie palette stack here. It's the She's in Parties. I love this palette, you guys. And part of the reason why I love this palette is because of the fact that it's, to me, it's so unexpected for a palette that I would love. This does not say KK is going to love that at all but i love this palette i love creating a beautiful burgundy or mauve toned look even purpley type look with this palette i really do this is one of the ones that helped me to say you don't need that natasha denona palette and i still haven't bought it you guys so for those of y'all who feel like i was gonna run out and buy it i still haven't bought it but this one here I love this palette you guys it's so gorgeous and it creates a beautiful eye look okay now this next brand here I love their cute little palettes that they come out with I don't have all of them but I did grab a few and the ones that I have used child the formula the mattes the shimmers just the look <laughs> I love it so this one here is Volume 1 Press Pigment Palette. And this one is, I'll put it on the screen. Why is it so hard for me to remember the name of this? 
uh, collection, y'all. I have no idea. You know, I'm gonna look it up because that's ridiculous. It's the Japan collection. Lord have mercy. <laughs> You would think I'd be able to remember that, but it's from the Japan collection. This one is the volume one. <sighs> Once again, I'm not really big on reds and pinks and all that stuff. You know, the whole Valentine themed palettes, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers in here, let me tell you. They are beautiful. So I absolutely love these little palettes, this one in particular. I also have this one here, which is the Bubble Time palette, another pressed pigment palette. And yo, the colors in here, so gorgeous. I mean, the shimmers are really what gets me, but the mattes are really nice and pigmented and easy to work with as well. So I just, I love these palettes. I love this brand. E Unique Beauty. You can't go wrong. The only thing with them is because, you know, it's international shipping and whatnot. It can get a little pricey, okay? It can get a little pricey. And that's honestly why I don't have, like, all of their palettes, all their collections, because I have to be in the mood to spend that much on shipping. So I kind of chill out. So next is a brand that everybody, I would think, is pretty familiar with, Juvia's Place. Of course, I have some favorites from Juvia's Place because their palettes are just, they, I mean, they've started coming out with the smaller palettes, which I know a lot of people like, the more curated color, you know, family palettes, which is really, really cool. I don't necessarily like them because it's a lot of palettes for me to keep up with and buy and collect because I do collect Juvia's Place. There's just a couple of brands that I actually collect all of the palettes from and Juvia's Place is one of them. So this first one here is the Berries. <sighs> oh, it's just something about this ready purpley pinky combination of colors that I just love. It's so gorgeous. This is definitely one of my favorite palettes from Juvia's Place that I will grab easily to use. And then I also wanted to share the Warrior because when I think about favorite indie brand palettes, this is one where I can grab it if I'm just really in the mood to do a warm neutral look. Um, or even, you know, use this dark shade here and create something kind of, you know, cool tone. I can do that. This palette, the shimmers, absolutely gorgeous. The shimmers, beautiful. The mattes, beautiful. This is just kind of like a staple. It really is a nice staple to have from an indie brand. And Juvia's prices are so freaking affordable that it's kind of like the affordability with the quality of the shadows like how can you go wrong okay so had to mention those now another one of my favorite indie brands is nomad cosmetics i love nomad cosmetics and not just because they send me stuff because you know i buy whatever i want to buy and i would most definitely purchase all of the palettes that they have sent me I you know I started out purchasing palettes and then they started sending me palettes but I love Nomad I love the whole thing behind them I've said it many times before and their palettes they're actually well they have been adding you know a little more pops of color and more just fun you know shades to use and stuff because some of their palettes some people might not feel like will work for them but i really love using their palettes to show the versatility and that they can work for you so this is my absolute favorite nomad palette this one is the i like to say lago di como because it's on the front but it's the lake como palette i think yeah lake como <laughs> and <sighs> listen like i said before you guys know i love blue obviously and I have quite a few blue palettes and I have a couple of favorites. This one is definitely one of my favorites. I love mixing the blue and the turquoise together. I love that the shimmers in here are gorgeous. It just creates a beautiful eye look, okay? Now, speaking of blue 
palettes from indie brands listen the reason okay the reason <laughs> it's so funny whenever i grab this palette because the owner of dj's unique boutique is one of my besties full disclosure one of my besties um love her to death okay and anything she comes out with honey i'm going to rock it and show it and support and listen okay but this was her holiday palette that she came out with was it last year must have been last year i'm thinking you know she might come back out with this palette she might have to bring it back okay because this palette yo beautiful blue aqua tone shades gorgeous has the neutral has the beautiful shimmers this beautiful pop of orange in here to kind of mix it up for the holiday this is an excellent winter holiday palette of course you can use these shades all year round but yes i love this palette from my girl dj's unique boutique the reason if you don't have it if she drops it again you gotta grab it if you love blue and turquoise you have to have this in your collection love that palette uh is this the last blue palette that i have to talk about it might be i know y'all probably like dang girl you like blue huh yes i do ace Beauté. <laughs> okay yes i do blues and greens and purples all day long all day every day okay this is the oceanic and i feel like this is one of the palettes that really made me fall in love with blues and greens on my eyes it is just so gorgeous the range in this palette from the deep 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 dark pacific shade to the beautiful lagoon so it's like it's deep and dark but it just oh it's so beautiful it has like that cobaltness to it the greens in here this pop of super bright almost neon type of green yeah i love this palette y'all i love the oceanic it'll never ever not be one of my favorite blue palettes i just don't see it because i've had a lot of blue palettes in my collection and that one always makes the cut okay whatever okay so moving right along oh let's talk about adept cosmetics now adept cosmetics i first became familiar with them because of their singles they have the cute little square shaped singles i love square shaped pans i know some people don't but i love square shaped pans and when I saw that they had such a huge, vast variety of shades, I bought the whole collection. Bought the whole collection, did a video, you know, showing the unboxing, the unpackaging, putting it in the palette, trying it out, all of that. And so I fell in love with Adept. And then they started actually creating palettes, you know, magnetic palettes with the shades in them that you could pop in pop out interchange them and all that good stuff now this one here the ninhydrin look at the packaging i love the packaging on their palettes but uh, they're shimmers lord have mercy on my soul i had to force myself to stop using their shimmers because every eye look i did i wanted to just just go in there and just put it on my lid because it's so beautiful so gorgeous so shimmery just oh i love them they're so delicious okay and so they started coming out with these type palettes and i just fell in love with them and then they actually found me and had started sending me um a couple of their palettes but i still buy um their palettes if i don't receive it i still buy it if i can get it because i love their formula i love their square shaped pants and <clears throat> and their shimmers oh my gosh to die for absolutely to die for now next let's talk about sydney grace okay i had already started collecting sydney grace singles because i used them loved them i was like oh this is a really nice formula you know it's a little bit more you know bougie than i'm used to okay and and that's just the vibe that i get when i use my sydney gray singles i'm like okay i'm feeling a little bougie today okay but i love their formula their shimmers their mats just easy eye look easy eye look now 
they collabed with Temptalia and I did pick up three the three different palettes I got I think a couple in light and one in dark I love all of them okay they're all really really nice palettes but the one I wanted to share with you guys right now is the radiant reflection okay because this one is the one that speaks most to my heart and to my color you know love language if you will I love this one the blues the greens the beautiful kind of like pinky mauvey purpley type look of course and you do have a gold shimmer in here I just uh, when I look at this palette I know I it's like I feel like when I do eye looks that I'm like dang I just did three green eye looks in a row I just did five blue eye looks I just did three purple looks but it's kind of like those are the colors that I love you know I can do like the warm smoky fall looks you know burgundies browns you know whatever but you know after a while I just I gotta see that color pop and so when I look at this palette it has every single color that I love in it you know to make an eye look so yeah I just uh, I had to share one of these because this one I really really love and I do love Sydney Grace's formula now next I have a colored rain palette this one is the safari rain okay this is one that I was actually shocked by really and truly shocked by this palette because I didn't expect to love it as much as I did when I used it now I love the packaging for this palette it's beautiful but the greens the orange mixed with the, like cool tone browns and then the unexpected shimmer shades in here it's just so so pretty if you have this palette because I don't think that they sell it anymore I don't even know I think they're coming out with like some smaller palettes if they haven't already dropped them they're coming out with some new stuff but I haven't really kept up with all the new releases lately you know I I already y'all know y'all know but um I really need to get back into the new releases and stuff because I actually like doing those videos they're kind of fun they're a lot of work a lot of work okay so I take my hat off to the ones that do them weekly you know bi-weekly and all that stuff because it's a lot of work but this palette here surprised me and so I feel like because of the fact that it surprised me and I loved it so much that this is always going to be one of my favorite indie brand palettes it's just beautiful and if you have it and you don't use it I would say dust that puppy off take it for a ride because it creates a beautiful eyelid now next I have now this brand I think I have a couple of palettes from them quite honestly Midas Cosmetics but this is the only palette that really spoke to me I feel like and just when I think about palettes that I just really really love and I feel like it's very versatile and I just want to grab them and use them this one is definitely one it's the perception palette from Midas Cosmetics now when you first look at this palette it might be like what, what's going on here it's a lot going on I have a couple palettes like this another palette like this is um, what is it the be perfect I can't think of the name of it but I'll put it on the screen that palette I absolutely love but I almost didn't buy it because of the fact that it's just so scattered you know all the shades there's no real rhyme or reason to it and I kind of feel the same way about this perception palette but the thing is with this perception palette the quality yo the quality is crazy so I have to just like sit and look at it and just be like okay do I want to do like a ready pinky look like a bluey green look do I want to do just like a one color look because the versatility is crazy and so is the quality so that's what makes me love this palette and always want to reach for it but yeah it could be a little intimidating if you're not someone who likes to use a lot of color or are well versed in just kind of looking at a crazy palette and figuring out what you want to do okay this next palette 
very very beautiful color story this is from clarity cosmetics okay clarity cosmetics <laughs> And I have a love, not a love-hate relationship with Clarity because I definitely don't hate them. But I have a love, somewhat frustrated relationship with them just because of the fact that I love their shadows. Oh my gosh, their shimmers are one of my absolute favorite, favorite formulas. But I always, almost always receive a shade broken. What is this? This is the Berry Royal. Yeah, this is the Berry Royal palette. This might be one of the only palettes that I've ever received from them without a broken shade in it. Because I can almost guarantee when I receive my palette from Clarity that I'm going to have at least one shadow that's broken or, you know, sh shattered. And it's not that devastating to me if it's a shimmer because I know how to repress and fix a shimmer. Not a problem. But with the mattes... I hate to kind of mess with it because I feel like it messes with the formula when, you know, you add alcohol and stuff to it. And it just never is the same, you know. So, but that that's the only, like, complaint that I have about receiving stuff from them is that <laughs> I feel like I always get a broken shadow. And it's not their fault because they wrap it up and all that good stuff. It's just something about me getting my palettes but anywho this berry royal palette oh, so gorgeous i love the packaging first of all the purple the pink the gold it's absolutely beautiful but what i love about this palette aside from their formula because i do like their formula is i like the deep deep dark plum shade and i love the really pretty light kind of like icy shade it's absolutely gorgeous and then the beautiful vibrant pinks you know you just listen if you like this color story then you know you'll probably love that palette because i do now this next brand is one that i really didn't expect that much from because i had never heard of them i had never purchased anything from them I don't even know if this is their first palette, quite honestly. I just know that when I saw it, I wanted to try it out. There was a lot of brands coming out with the multi-chrome, duo-chrome shadows in a palette. You know, I guess trying to create an easier way to try several different multi-chromes in one palette instead of having to buy all the singles. And so I came across this brand on Instagram. It's called Indie Beat Cosmetics. And this is their Platinum Hits palette. Like I said, I didn't know much about them. and But when I saw the shades on Instagram, I was like, okay. I was like, I need to try those out. It's a more affordable palette. Kind of a more affordable way to try a whole bunch of duo and multi-chromes in one place. If you don't want to sit there and pick a bunch of different singles out, which... I don't mind doing that. I love singles. You guys know that. But I wanted to try out a palette. Test out the quality. Test out, you know, the wear and all that stuff. And I found that I really, really love these beautiful shimmers. Now, I don't know that these shimmers last as long as some of the more expensive shimmers, you know, that you might purchase and use. But... I do know that they're absolutely gorgeous, okay? I love this palette. I love using it on my eyes. It creates beautiful shimmers on the lid. It's just a really nice way to try out several different multi-chrome and duo chromes in one place, especially if you're like really on a budget and not able to purchase some of the more expensive ones just you know onesie twosie and stuff try this out see if you even like these type of shimmers and then you know move forward in purchasing more expensive ones if you want to but for me i love to keep this palette in my drawer or just close by because if I want to just beautiful inner corner pop or beautiful, you know, just center shine on the lid, this is great for that. But it's also really, really nice for, you know, just eye looks in general. So I love that one. This next one, oh my gosh, I love this. This one is from Glaminatrix Cosmetics, okay? The You Beauty Palette. 
this palette surprised me as well i was not that familiar with glaminatrix and i just really really wanted to try this palette out it's like a really beautiful color scheme but when you first look at it it might not look that exciting you know it might not look like oh what can i do with that you know except for the blues the golds blah 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 but listen this palette the shade g day listen gorgeous old mate beautiful um chockers is that what it is Ch y'all know i can't see chockers Straya, it's like whoop whoop these shades are just beautiful and then the mattes while it doesn't have an extreme amount of versatility and variety this palette the quality is a1 you guys it is beautiful once again i don't even know if this palette is still available but you know i'm just sharing with you guys some of my favorites i'm one of those where it's like even if a palette is not available anymore and i hate it if you guys can't get it and you see it and you love it um i still paid for it and i still want to use it and i still want to incorporate it in my channel and in my looks so i'm still going to use my makeup whether it's discontinued or not it's just just me if it's something that you see and you absolutely love oh my goodness you know maybe you can ask me is there a dupe for it are there dupes for these particular shades that you might have in your singles collection kk or something like that and then i will actually take the time and look through my collection and see if i can find you know a dupe or some dupes for you i have no problem doing that but i still feel like i bought it i love it i want to use it and i'm going to share it you know because i know some of you guys actually purchased it as well i'm not the only person that purchased it so some of you guys might still have the palette and you're like oh shoot i forgot about that yeah let me grab that mug and use it you know so that's just how i think the first thing i would do if i see somebody with a palette that's no longer available and i'm like dang i wish i would have bought that palette i start digging and looking for dupes <laughs> that's the first thing i do is start looking for dupes like okay i probably already have these shades or what is it about that palette that i really like and i start looking for dupes because a lot of stuff is dupable okay this next palette listen i speaking of dupes i did a whole video duping this palette out okay and i i did a terrible job <laughs> Once I actually got the palette in my hand and used it, okay, I didn't do a terrible job, but I didn't do this palette justice with my dupe video or my dupe shades. I did not. But it is the Alien Cosmetics Bunnies palette, okay? I was fighting the urge so hard. I did not want to buy this palette because it wasn't cheap, okay? She wasn't cheap. Um, and I just felt like looking at it like I have those shades. I don't need this palette. I have these shades. And while I do have these shades, um, even in some of my more expensive, you know, singles, indie brands and stuff like that, if it's not the exact shade, it's something very close. But I love having them all in one place in this one palette and i feel like it's a beautiful color story i definitely feel like this is if you're a color lover and you like these shades you like these colors this is a beautiful palette to have in your collection and it's definitely become one of my favorites i love using it it's beautiful okay i just have a few more okay now this palette here will probably be very surprising this is the only palette that this brand has ever come out with so i'm pretty sure y'all know which one it is okay it's tati's palette tati beauty now this is the volume one i don't know if she's coming out with more makeup or not it's funny because i really know i don't even watch tati i watch her every blue moon you know if i just want to like check in and see what's happening or whatever but i really don't even watch her i don't have a problem with her you know her life and her drama that's her business but i really like this palette <laughs> okay and this is the only palette that she has come out with this is the only palette that i have like this and although i know a lot of people were like no we don't we don't want the glitter we don't want it we don't want it it's you know 
this palette just screams Tati to me. I mean, when I think of Tati, this is what I would think of. And even with the glitter, adding that extra bit of sparkle and dazzle, you know, for those date nights or fancy special occasions and stuff like that. This is what I think of when I think of Tati. And what I love about this palette is I love the monochromatic columns of it. And I also love the fact that you can like mix and match the different shades. If I want to do a red smoky look, if I want to do like a burnt orange type smoky look, if I want to just do a, a black smoky look and dazzle it up with some glitter, I can do that with this palette. Um, I, I like this palette. I like it a lot. I think it's gorgeous. I love the way that she did the layout. It's such a huge contrast from uh, all of the palettes in my collection. Maybe that's why I love it because it's like this is this is the one like special child right here, you know, and I love it. I really do. I'm never getting rid of it. Okay, so I just have a few more to go. This palette, I knew it was going to be a favorite the second I used it because when I purchased it, I'm like, oh, it's cute, you know, glam light, little ice cream dream or whatever, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's cute. You know, I love color. So it's just, it's predictable, you know. But the thing about this palette is the quality. Glam light, listen. It's like they're that surprising company to me where it's like you wouldn't think, oh, you know, this little indie brand, everything is based around food and sweet treats and stuff. You know, it's like probably mediocre quality. Glam Light has one of the best eyeshadow quality and formulas that I have used and I've come across, okay? And I've used some of the best, all right? So I love this palette not only because of the color story but the shimmers yo the shimmers amazing and so i have quite a few glam light palettes i don't have all of them but i have quite a few and i love them i really really do it's like i get the pigmentation and their shimmers are very surprising to me very unexpected for a brand in my opinion that where their whole theme is like based around food because I don't know maybe it's just this mental connection with me like oh it just seems cheesy but the formula is a one okay now this brand this palette I haven't used that much I've only used it a couple of times but I loved it <laughs> each time I used it I loved it and I was like okay so this is from blended cosmetics this is their blend it palette now I really want to try one of the what is it blend bunny is that the name of it blend bunny palettes I don't know why I didn't buy the first one maybe because you know I have so many palettes with that color story already but they came out with a new one that has shimmers in it and I'm really really thinking about grabbing that because I really want to try it out but anyway this is the blended palette from blended cosmetics and one of the main things I love about this palette is the color story the color story is just beautiful it's so vibrant it's just it's all over the place. It's another one of those color stories that's kind of all over the place. You know, you got a green over here, a green over there, blues over here, blues over there. But the variety in this palette is so, so nice. And I love it. It's all matte. So if you don't like all matte palettes, um, this won't be for you. Unless you're looking for one to add to your collection. Now for me, I love a good all matte palette because I have so many beautiful shimmers in single form that if I really, really love a shimmer single that I have, I can be like, dang, I wanna use this, but what am I gonna use it with, you know? Cause most palettes have mattes and shimmers, but if I just pull one shimmer that I'm dying to throw on my lid and I'm like, okay, I just need some crease work. I just need something, you know, some mattes from a crease. This is perfect for that because if I wanna do a colorful look, they are all right here and i love it the formula is really really nice last but not least you guys is 
of course playing in makeup by Yolando. I have so many palettes from her. I did not know which one I wanted to pick. But this one seems to always be my favorite. This one is the Jam Rock No Limitations eyeshadow palette from playing in makeup by Yolando. <laughs> Uh, I have loved her palettes and her shadows for what seems like a lifetime, okay? Um, but this palette in particular, child, it just does something to my soul. It does something to my spirit, okay? I love colorful palettes that are rich and deep and warm and just make you feel cozy smoky just <laughs> you know and this palette does that for me i just i love this color story the shimmers oh my gosh this is a palette where you can just take one of the shimmers and just you know you do some crease work and just use one of these shimmers on your lid and your look is going to be phenomenal no questions just no doubt about it because the shimmers are beautiful my favorite is becky that is my absolute favorite shade in this whole palette. It's gorgeous. But yeah, all of Playing in Makeup by Yolando's palettes are the bomb. Some I like more than others, but I really could not say any of them are a bad palette, okay? So yeah, I love this palette. It's beautiful. It's one of my absolute favorites from an indie brand. And that's it, you guys. Those are just the ones like I said that I just really feel some type of way about and I wanted to share I have a whole lot of other ones okay that I do love also but these hold a special place in my heart like if somebody tried to take them out of my collection we might have to square up okay so yeah that's it for today you guys hopefully you enjoyed this video I mean I had a lot of fun Making this video, like I said, I am trying to, you know, just rediscover my love for makeup, my love for beauty products, all of that, skincare. I really want to just dive back in. And I think I just ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite indie brand palettes are because when people are reading these comments, you know, they might want to check out these palettes too, okay? Let's go ahead and get these indie brands moving. Let's help them out and let's share some of our favorite uh, palettes. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. Doodle! -doo.